Greetings. Welcome back to another episode of Wakona Weekly. Yes, and we hope you've enjoyed the week thus far. This time around, we have a segment on Wakona's French Club in an attempt to cover some of the other going-ons here at Wakona. And besides that, we have some updates, new information, and highlights on the various sports teams and even intramurals that occurred over this last week. This week, the French Club decided to go all out to celebrate Mardi Gras, which, if you don't know, is a celebration on the day before Ash Wednesday to get all the partying out of your system. I was lucky enough to stop by on Monday and get to see the club in action. They were hard at work making the French room here at Wakona look like a traditional New Orleans party. This meant beads, masquerades, colorful displays, and even some yummy creme brulee. Having tried some myself, I can assure you that it was très bon, and the party was just as magnificent. As a bit of a heads up, there is an upcoming Berkshire County basketball all-star game going on this coming Friday, the 15th, at Taconic High School. At this competition, you can see Wakona's own Abigail Steinman and Maria Gambaroni for the girls, and for the boys, Tom Burris, Tommy O'Connor, and Kevin Huben. And better yet, this event holds as a fundraiser for the Oswald Tower Scholarship. If you have interest in going to support our Wakona representatives, the tickets are $5 for adults and $3 for students. As you may remember, last week we held an interview with cheerleader Tim Therrien. In said interview, we mentioned their game day cheer state championship. Turns out, the cheerleaders were not messing around, and in fact set themselves a new record. They ended up winning their sixth straight competition, and as a special prize, the Dalton Fire and Police Departments gave them a spectacular escort back home. Judging by the special treatment that the cheerleaders rightfully received, it appears as if they do not plan on slowing down anytime soon in their next season. As for some more somber news about Wakona sports, both the bowling and basketball teams lost their recent games. Last Wednesday, the women's basketball team lost in their semifinal competition of the year against Hoosick Valley 32-56. Alongside them, the boys' basketball team lost their semifinal match as well against Sabus 55-65. And before that, on Saturday, the bowling team came in second place state champs, losing to Wooster. While it is sad to see these teams losing after coming so far, it is still highly impressive to see what they have accomplished. So we would much rather focus on the positive as opposed to the negative and congratulate these teams for their impressive dedication and hard work. And finally, we bring you some intramural news. This Thursday was the Basketball Intramural Championship competition. In this week's competition, a group of young men pledged full allegiance to Mr. Pegareri and devoted their afternoons to fighting under his name. This team, known formerly as Pegareri's Bow Ties, danced around the court in their final match-off, winning 16-13 to and a pretty sweet title as well. Well, that's all we have for this week, folks. This week, we took a look at the French Club, which is something we would like to cover more of in the future, whether it be clubs, student projects, or otherwise. So please be sure to give us a submission in the form below so we can do exactly that. Thanks again for watching and giving us your support. This has been Ryan, Zach, and Lucas bringing you Wakana Weekly. See ya!